how to start your blog. So you just need to type in Adobe. So you just go on Google like this. Go on to Adobe Creative Cloud Express. That's what it's called. And you go to the formerly Adobe Spark. That's what it used to be called. You'll come through to a sign in. So you'll see here. Click on there. I've already signed in. But you can see that that is there. And we want to go to Creative Cloud Express. You've got all these different apps in the top right corner. We're going to go to Creative Cloud Express. Don't use Creative Cloud. You don't need to download that. We're going to use Creative Cloud Express. So when you've logged in, you can use your ST number or you can use your Gmail, which I've used. So Creative Cloud is brilliant for your personal life, your Instagram stories and stuff there, posters, really good as a teacher. They've got all these different things you could use. Definitely use these, the collage, the flyers, the posters. Use these in your blog. You'll get marks for it. So, you know, logos and things. You, know, you want to have the star of your one of your blogs. You could have a poster to say blog one, which is one continuous blog. You've got section A, section B, section C. All right, to set up your blog, you press the plus button. There's all these different things that you can do. Have a look at those. You can make GIFs. You can do all these different things. We're doing web page. So you're going to click the web page. You're going to write down Eole one part two blog. Put your name. Okay, so this is your blog starting to take shape. You can add photos. You can add text. You can add buttons, videos, photo grids, all these different things. If you want to add a video, a photo, there's all these different stock images you can use as well. So this is Adobe. This is Welsh Government have invested heavily on Hub into using this which is creative cloud adobe adobe's used a lot in schools so we're giving you that experience now on this assessment because you're going to be using it when you go out to schools i would definitely recommend that you back up all your work on a word document and then transfer that across do that as a final thing don't rely on this this is a browser supported free piece of equipment some schools have lost all their work University policy is if you lose your work or if Adobe lose your work, it's not counted as an excuse. So you need to back up your work. If I were you, I'd do all your blogs on Word and then I'd transfer these across. When you're happy, you're going to share. You're going to publish and share the link. I would send it to your Google Drive as well just as a backup. And I would invite yourself to it as well. But we go to publish and share the link. You've got the title there. You can pick a category, do education, and then you create the link. It takes a minute to create the link. Only do this when you're ready. Don't do this now. Do this at the end. You're then going to copy and paste this link, which is here. Press copy, and you're going to drop that into the pro forma document, and you'll upload that to turn it in. Looking forward to reading your blogs. Remember, one blog. Don't set up three blogs. You need to set one blog with a section A, section B, section C. At the bottom of each section, there needs to be a reference list. Speak to you soon.